Hey, I'm here to show you how I make my pleated mask pleats. Uh, my key is to have one of these friction pens. Um, this is a special pen where you can scribble on the fabric um, and then when you heat it up with an iron, it disappears. Um, it'll also disappear with friction, hence the name. Uh, not very well. I'm gonna erase that with the iron later. Um, but basically, I'm not marking with a real pen. Um, any other kind of disappearing pen or washable pen could also work. Uh, this is definitely my favorite because it just disappears right away. Um, anyways, I'll also need a ruler. I've got this handy dandy six inch one that I stole from my mom. Um, but any ruler with markings will work. Um, so what I do is I just mark it one inch down and then I mark it three quarters of an inch and then in the middle. Um, that's technically three eighths, but for some reason I really hate measuring three eighths. So it's easier for me to measure three quarters of an inch and then just find the one in the middle. Um, from there, I give it half an inch of space and do it again. Uh, my goal is to get three evenly sized pleats. So then skip half an inch and do this. Um, so this will leave us with three chunks of pleats. Um, and the way I do it is I just take this and I fold it so that the outside parts meet and this is on top. And then I fold it down to meet the next one. That's it. Um, pin it in place. Pin it in place. And boop. Pin it in place. Um, I actually find that you get slightly ev more even pleats, like total, if you do the other side first um, and then alternate. But frankly, most of the time it really doesn't matter so long as you're getting them even. Um, and with the markings, you actually can get them even. Um, as long as you're getting them even, it's all good. And that's it. This is now ready to sew. Bam. There you go. Stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask when you go outside.